Hello everybody, Billy Hanks here again for another LEGO flip through and I'm going to be doing the fall 2013 catalog this time and you can see uh, Star Wars was advertised on the front this time because the Ewok Village came out and there's also a mini camper van that came out as a promotion too so let's open this thing up there's the whole Ewok Village and this came with, with uh, 16 minifigures and R2-D2 so quite a lot of minifigures never got this set though but it does look good. I don't remember if it's retired yet. It may still be on shelves. There's the advent calendar because Lego does always show their advent calendars early in catalogs. And this time around, Django Fett was supposed to be like Santa. Here we have the camper van. And that was for like purchase of $50 or more at the Lego store or shop at home.com. Then here we have the humming spider droid. And this set was re-released in 2016 and it looks almost identical here we have the corporate alliance tank droid and it was nice to get an updated Django Fett because before they just did that like jetpack helmet mold here we have Jack 14 stealth starfighter I really did like the Yoda Chronicles because that was the first time that Lego did some original stuff for Star Wars so that was pretty fun and the special forces clone troopers awesome then we've got Old Republic stuff, and I was really psyched when they were going to make some more Old Republic sets. This one's the Jedi Defender Class Cruiser. And we also have the um, HH-87 Starhopper, which was from the Clone Wars. And I do like the updated Cad Bane minifigure quite a bit. He was pretty cool in the show. <clears throat> Here we have the Duel on Geonosis. And when this set came out, I was really excited for the Poggle the Lesser minifigure because that character was absent in the LEGO Star Wars theme until this set came out. And an updated Yoda is always nice, one that wasn't based on the Clone Wars. And I think that was an updated Count Dooku, too. ATTE. I think this one's my favorite one that has come out. I do like this one quite a lot more than the Clone Wars one because, I don't know, it just doesn't look as comical, I would say. Here we have Jabba's Sail Barge. And I do have the original one from 2006. Never got this one, though. Jabba the Hutt mold is awesome, though. We have the Mandalorian speeder. And I, I got this set just for Darth Maul, because the legs look awesome. And the Mandalorian super commandos were pretty cool, too. I remember that scene in the show when um he escaped in one of those. We've got more Star Wars. Here's uh, Red 5 X-Wing Starfighter, which is a UCS set. And the Death Star was still on shelves when this magazine came out. We've got the Republic gunship. And I think this year they had a lot of Attack of the Clones sets. Because this is from Attack of the Clones. Like, just based on the minifigures. And we've got R2-D2. Another UCS set. And we've got Chima. This was when Chima was around. This was like its first year when it was getting soup, so much hate. You can see there's three speed ores. As they say, instead of speeder, they said speed ores for some reason. I've got the fox one because the fox only came in one set, which was this one. Then we have um, an eagle bike, which I don't see why they need why the eagles need a ground vehicle, and I don't see why the ravens need a jetpack when they have wings they can fly on their own. And this set always interests me for some reason. The like Gorzan's Gorilla Striker. It's just such an interesting mech. I don't know why, but I've always been interested by that. Here we have the Croc Swamp Hideout, which is a pretty cool looking set. I know Chima does get a lot of hate, but I'm not much of a hater towards Chima. And we have oh, the Wolf Command Layer thingy. And that came with four wolves, a gorilla and Eris. That was a pretty cool set. The Lion Chi Temple, which... I like quite a bit. I know a lot of people give it hate, but I don't see why. We have the Legends of Chima game, and I think the only reason they made that game is because Ninjago made a game, and they both have shows. And you kind of get the point. We've got City. They were doing Coast Guard stuff, and so there's a Coast Guard set. Stunt Plane. Uh, the Cargo Heli Plane, and that was the first year where they had this mold for this new, like, rounded, roundish mold for a helicopter. We've got the cargo terminal, which is an awesome looking plane. The cargo truck, which is pretty cool. We've got the first LEGO City starter set right up here. 
a monster trucks transporter. A Grand Prix truck, which I don't see what that has to do with the city, but still, always nice to get. We got a uh, Town Square, which is an awesome set. Sorry if you heard a squeaky noise. Crafty Lou was messing around with the door. There's the advent calendar. I'm going back to that. I really wish that Lego City would make more civilian-based stuff like this. I mean, they're, right, they're going in the right direction with the city and the park that just came out at the time of this recording. Lego Friends don't really care for Lego Friends at all. I mean, I guess if you were a big Friends fan girl or fanboy, you'd like these sets. This is a set I always wanted, though, for some reason. I guess it's because the boat build looks freaking phenomenal. But I never got it. There's the advent calendar and the sports car, which Crafty Lou has, because she likes Friends quite a bit. Here we have the Sydney Opera House. This was the landmark set that came out that year. And, Jesus Christ, this thing's huge. Looks awesome. I think if I was Australian, I'd appreciate this set a lot more than I do. But it does look very nice. Here on this page, we have some um, bigger Lego sets, the hard to find. We have a modular over here, which is the Palace Cinema from 2013. And you get some Lego movie stickers with that. The Haunted House, which is not a modular. That's from Monster Fighters. Very good set. Here we have the Horizon Express, which I heard sold, didn't, like, like it didn't sell very well. So they had to get that off shelves pretty quickly. Volkswagen Camper, never really cared for that set, but it does look good. Here we have some DC stuff. And these three sets were based on the Man of Steel movie, because that came out that year. Black Zero Escape, I like the escape pod, the minifigures, but the build right there isn't that good. That set I actually have, it's a pretty fun set. It's got a little car. Metropolis Showdown. Then we have the Battle of Smallville, which is another good set. Here we have Arkham Asylum Breakout, which is probably my favorite DC set of all time. Looks just awesome. I like this a lot better than the 2006 Arkham Asylum. And then over here we have the Forgotten Lone Rangers theme. And, yeah, I mean, we got the City Showdown, the little TP set, Silvermine Shootout. And the train chase, which I really like quite a bit. Really like the machine gun build up there. Stagecoach Escape, which I don't remember that ever being in the movie. And we have the cavalry building set, which I got for um the horse. Because that year they had the new horse mold that came out where it can stand up. Here we have Kuso sets, which would now be called Lego Ideas. And that's when uh, the DeLorean time machine came out from Back to the Future. And then there's the Minecraft set, which was really popular, so they made a whole theme based on Minecraft nowadays. The Architecture Studio, which I did get. It's a pretty fun set. Quite a bit of bricks in there that you can just build, you know, whatever you want. They also have a book of stuff that you can build. And here we have the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which I do have. I think I got that for Christmas two years ago, maybe. <clears throat> then we have the United Nations Headquarters. Cool looking set. Master Builders Academy. Never really gotten into that theme, but fun idea. I think it's discontinued now. Then we have some promotional stuff here. We've got Lord of the Rings. Battle at the Black Gate. Which really like the Eagle build. The Council of Elrond. Never got that. Pirate Ship Ambush. It's a cool set. Then this tower is freaking awesome. And the Wizard Battle. I got that. Very fun set. I've actually reviewed that too. And Technic, if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you know I don't really care for Technic. Although that does look pretty fun. The 4x4 Crawler Exclusive Edition. And this is also the year the EV3 robot came out for Mindstorms. Which kind of reminds me of an Indian robot for some reason. So yeah, that is the Fall 2013 Catalog. Tell me in the comments what you guys think below. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Later.